into this wonderful evening. And with that, now to grace the occasion with his exhilarating uh, address, please put your hands together as I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Patrick Tete Guan, Member of Parliament, West Coast GRC Bungle. A very warm and hearty welcome, sir. Very good evening, His Excellencies, the organizing team, as well as uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I have actually a 20-page speech, so bear with me. Just joking. I'll keep it short and sweet in five minutes uh, because we have a long list of award winners and brands to recognize as well as an exciting panel coming ahead. In fact, thanks to the organizers for having me this evening. As you know, Singapore and India enjoy very good relations, both at the government-to-government -government level as well as business-to-business -business level. And, uh, we have this very, very strong partnership in terms of trade, investments, etc., etc. And can I have a show of hands, how many of you here have flown in from outside of Singapore? Wow, excellent. So I need to wear my other hat uh, as board member of Economic Development Board to ask you to invest in Singapore. Again, a, a really warm welcome to each and every one of you. Uh, Happy New Year, good health and prosperity in 2019 all our business leaders and uh, His Excellencies. As today's forum's title is fleshed out, Business and Social Forum, I think there's a very close nexus between businesses and social good. I can't emphasize more. In my full-time job, I'm a trade unionist. Don't ask why the trade unionist is here today. Uh, but I work very closely with employers, businesses and the government in strengthening the workforce and to ensure uh, that no one in Singapore is left behind. So this is one of uh, the things that we do in Singapore. And I thought to share some experiences and, and outlook for 2019 with each and every one of you here. I think globally, as you know, we are seeing a few challenges lying ahead in 2019. Firstly, of course, the US-China trade relations and uh, some of the skirmishes that are happening. So that's something uh, I, I hope each and every one of us pay a bit more attention to, especially as business leaders. In Singapore here, we are also watching it very closely. But however, with all these various tensions, I think also come with it opportunities because I'm also ob observing that many companies, particularly the multinationals, are diversifying and diverting some of the traffic to Asia and ASEAN. So I think it augurs well for all of us um, in Asia and, and really we will bring in new opportunities, I'm sure, in one way or another, directly or indirectly. The other thing that I, I thought, having you know, scanned the environment, uh, the other important thing that's, that's also happening is uh, what's happening in Europe with Brexit. We are all watching that very, very closely and how it pans out in the coming weeks and, of course, at the fateful day in, in March. Uh, that's something that will affect Europe, but because of our very open economy, both India and Singapore as well, and very strong trade relations and, and very globalised kind of flat environment. I think that, that also is something we are, we are all watching very closely. And of course, thirdly, being in Asia and ASEAN, uh, we are also watching very closely the Indonesian elections that will, will happen this year. Uh, because we are strong partners, we have a lot of trade, and uh, we also want stability and strength uh, here in Asia and in ASEAN. So these are the three more big picture macro happenings uh, globally. But actually, locally in Singapore, um, I don't mean to do hard selling or marketing, but we have been hard at work in trying to ensure we stay, uh, you know, at least maybe not ahead of the game, but keep pace with what's happening. Because with technological disruption, with digitalization, some of these words getting quite passe, artificial intelligence, IoT, and the whole works, the whole spectrum of developments, uh, the only difference between the fourth industrial revolution and the third industrial revolution, there's only one thing different is the pace that's happening. I think that's something uh, some of us on treadmills will know. From a 5.0, 5 kilometers per hour to a 12 kilometers per hour, trust me, if you don't keep up, you're going to fall off behind. So I think that's one, uh, one key thing. Uh, all of us uh, need to join hands together as business leaders and uh, myself as a trade unionist and also working very closely uh, in Parliament of Singapore. We, we want to make sure uh, three important aspects are being looked after. Uh, I would call it the three W's, the, the work, the workers, and the workplaces. I think this, as business leaders, I know many of you are head controls, and of course looking at investment opportunities, looking at networking, but at the end of the day, I think 
we all need to, to really you know, embrace this, some of these changes that are happening. In fact, this year, the International Labour Organization is celebrating its centennial celebrations 100 years, and the Future of Work Commission will be flashing out a big report in the, in the coming months. So I thought I'd uh, give you a snapshot on some of the things that we are doing in Singapore in this area of work, workplaces and workers. I think in the area of work, as you know, the world is flat, we are so connected, internet connection speeds are very, very fast in Singapore, and uh, we, we, we can't wait to, uh, to check our smartphones at the very next minute. I think things are happening very fast. The way, uh, you know, the nature of work that are happening in our work workplaces are being transformed. From freelance work to working, you know, flexible working places uh, like we work and the likes of it, uh, to working across boundaries and across jurisdictions. I think this is happening quick and fast and, and really, uh, it has, we've never seen such a watershed change in the work environment altogether and the future of jobs. And of course, with all these happenings on digitalization, disruption, we also see a lot of work opportunities happening. Many of the old jobs are starting to be obsolete and disappearing. But the positive side of it is that there will be new opportunities for each and every one of us, uh, be it in India, in Asia, in ASEAN, as well as in Singapore. Uh, we are pleasantly optimistic that uh, despite some of the turmoils and the changes and the transformation, uh, we do see new opportunities coming. Certain growth sectors like professional services, financial sector, healthcare sector, infocom technology, infocom media, wholesale trade. These are some of the sectors that are actually bringing a lot of exciting opportunities, I believe not just in Singapore, but in Asia and ASEAN. And besides work, workplaces. I think workplaces are also transforming. Uh, more flexible workplaces. When companies need to shrink fast and expand fast, they want workplaces that are able to accommodate and, and you know, be able to take in new workers or new projects in a very quick and efficient manner. So you see workplaces as well being transformed. Uh, we have various uh, companies setting up shop here in Singapore and around the world uh, to be able to, to cater to the needs of the millennials the younger generation as well as the not so young generation. So you see workplaces transforming, redesigning, uh, you know, re-engineering to be able to cater to the various needs of the various demographics and the various profile of workforces in different parts of Asia. In Singapore, we have an aging workforce. If you go just a bit north in Vietnam, it's a very youngish workforce. So different countries will have a different set of uh, needs that we need to do to reinvent and to accommodate and to transform. And finally, workers, something very close to my heart and I'm sure all of you, because they are the ones, like I said, businesses exist for social good. And one of the key social good is that businesses help people, citizens, residents to have jobs, not just jobs, but good jobs and quality jobs. So I think workers is something uh, which is big on our agenda in Singapore, whether it's the last five years of budget as well as this year's coming budget. I think one key thing is helping our workforce stay ready, relevant and resilient. Then you'll be asking me, what's ready, relevant and resilient? I think ready the new skills, because many of these jobs require new skills which are sometimes never heard before. Yeah. Relevant, uh, relevant uh, with, for the new jobs. The new opportunities have come up, software development, healthcare, intense, advanced manufacturing, uh, name it. We need to prepare uh, to be relevant for these new jobs. And finally, resilient. Why? Because a lot of unexpected changes can happen. The peaks and troughs of the economy are not like your economics 101. Every 10 years, kind of like an economic cycle. Today, things happen, things move very, very fast. Whether it's upturn or downturn, things happen fast. So we need to be able to respond to that, be able to have a resilient workforce to accommodate to that. So in Singapore, we have a very tight labour market situation, relatively low unemployment, total workforce unemployment about 2.1%, one of the lowest uh, you know, in, in amongst OECD countries in comparison. But again, we are not resting on our laurels because even if it's 2.1%, it's still large numbers in actual, uh, you know, uh, citizens. So we are putting a lot of efforts into this in worker upgrading, training, and uh, we are partnering with many employers. And we hope some of you, I know, amidst us are employers and setting up shop in Singapore. Uh, we, we really want to partner with you to make sure that uh, your company grows bigger and bigger and so that uh, the cake grows bigger and uh, even the workers will have a bigger share of the cake uh, to share with. So on that note, I, I wish and I want to congratulate each and every one of the award winners and award winning brands. Uh, my heartiest congratulations. Thank you to the organizers and organizing team uh, from URS and, and Asia One uh, for having me here. 
and uh, have a great evening and again, happy new year, good health, good success, good business and of course, uh, be nice to your workers. Thank you.